exercise your eyes. Just like the rest of your body, keeping your eyes in tip-top shape requires regular exercise. Here are a few to try. You will need a table, a chair, objects, and patience. Optional, a computer with internet access. Step one, rub your hands together for approximately 25 seconds and then cup your hands over your closed eyes to do the palming exercise. Rest your elbows on a table. Step two, sit in this position for approximately two minutes. As you relax, the blackness you see will become darker. Repeat two to three times a day. Step three, perform the near-far focus exercise to improve eye flexibility by holding your thumb approximately six inches from your nose and focusing on it. Take in a deep breath and slowly exhale. Step four, focus on an object approximately 10 feet away. Take in a deep breath and slowly exhale. Repeat 15 times. Step five, improve eye flexibility by performing the scanning exercise. Sit down and begin to scan various edges of objects in the room with your eyes. Step six, Keep your eyes moving fluidly for approximately two minutes. You can also search online for more eye exercises. Step seven, perform the eye stretch exercise by looking up toward your eyebrows and rolling your eyes around in a circular motion as far as you can in each direction. Repeat every two to three hours. Did you know? Vitamin A helps maintain the skin, lungs, and intestinal tracts but is critical for vision and is found in meat, dairy products, fruits, and vegetables. How to improve eyesight through diet. Eating foods that are good for your eyes is also good for the rest of your body. Learn the list of recommendations to improve your eyesight and your overall health. You will need fish, grains, green leafy vegetables, yellow vegetables, blueberries, grapes, eggs, onions, garlic, and red wine. Optional, virgin olive oil. Step one, eat fatty fish such as tuna, sardines, salmon, and cod. They include DHA, which gives structural support to cell membranes and essential omega-3 fatty acids. Grains are also a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Broil or poach the fish or cook it in olive oil to avoid adding unhealthy saturated fats. Step two, Eat green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale, which may protect your eyes from sun damage and blue light. Step three, avoid foods high in sugar. Eating a high sugar diet increases your risk for diabetes and bad circulation, which can lead to cataracts and glaucoma. Step four, eat food high in sulfur to protect the eye's lenses. High sulfur foods include eggs, onions, and garlic. Step five, drink red wine. It contains many nutrients that help your eyes as well as your heart, but remember to drink in moderation. One glass a day is all it takes. Did you know? The retina has 130 million light-sensitive cells. How to prevent computer eye strain. Computer eye strain can hurt productivity, but it's easy to prevent if you take a few precautions. You will need a properly lit workspace, an LCD monitor, a copy stand, and computer glasses. Optional an anti-glare screen or computer hood. Step one, close the blinds and turn off extra lights to reduce glare. Use an anti-glare screen or computer hood if you can't reduce the light in your office. Step two, buy an LCD monitor. Since old CRT monitors produce flicker, a major source of eye strain. Use a monitor measuring at least 19 inches with a dot pitch of 0.28 millimeters or lower. If you're stuck with a CRT monitor, set the refresh rate as high as possible to reduce flicker. Step three, Look out a window or down a hall. Break up computer work by focusing on a distant object every 20 minutes. Step four, blink to keep your eyes moist. Blink 10 times, slowly, every half hour. Step five, use a copy stand and place it next to your monitor to reduce the distance your eyes must travel between page and screen. Make sure printed materials are well lit, but don't shine a lamp on the screen or in your eyes. Step six, Use computer glasses, which are designed specifically for the distance between your eyes and the computer screen. Did you know? Computers with braille displays are available for the sight impaired. How to put in and remove contact lenses. Nothing is worse than having a contact slide under your eyelid. Okay, there are worse things, but this is one you can easily avoid. You will need good lighting, a sink, unscented soap, a mirror, 
your contact lenses, and contact lens wetting solution. Step one, find a well-lit room with a sink and mirror. Close the drains so that if you drop your contact lens, it won't be washed away. Step two, wash your hands with unscented soap. Oils and dirt can not only damage your lenses, but could cause eye infections. Always put your contact lens in before applying makeup. Step three, Using your index finger and thumb, pick up one of the lenses and moisturize it with some contact lens wetting solution. Step four, hold the lens on the tip of your index finger the way it will go into your eye, bowl-shaped with the cup facing up. Make sure the lens isn't inside out. If it's a perfect U, it's fine. If the edges flare out, it needs to be flipped. Step five, with one hand, hold the upper eyelid up and the lower lid down. Step six, look forward or up slightly and gently place the lens on the white part of your eyeball. Step seven, blink and look around with your eye to rotate the lens into its proper place. Confirm this by looking in the mirror. Step eight, repeat the process with the other eye. Step nine, when you're ready to remove lenses, put a few drops of contact lens solution into your contact lens case. Step 10, looking in the mirror, hold down the lower eyelid of one eye. Step 11, Using an index finger and thumb, gently move the lens to the whites of your eyes, then gently pinch the contact lens and pull it away from your eye. If you're having trouble removing a contact lens, consider using a plunger. You can get one from your eye doctor. Step 12. Immediately place the lens into the side of the case that corresponds to the eye from which you remove the lens. Make sure the lens is completely open and not folded onto itself. Step 13. Do the same with the other eye, then add more solution to the case and close it securely. Did you know? It's impossible to lose a contact lens in the back of your eyeball because of a membrane that connects your eye to the back of your eyelid. How to repair your eyeglasses? Try these simple fixes to salvage your specs. You will need duct tape, needle nose pliers, an eyeglass repair kit that includes a small rubber ring, spare screws, and a miniature flathead screwdriver, super glue, a wooden toothpick, a paper towel, a miniature safety pin, all-purpose glue, a metal staple, and a wire coat hanger. Optional, a magnifying glass, and clear nail polish. Review the warranty for your eyeglasses. Making repairs yourself may invalidate it. Step one, holding your glasses by the nose piece. Closely examine them to determine what needs repair. Use a magnifying glass for assistance. Step two, for an overstretched hinge, cover the tips of needle nose pliers with duct tape to avoid any lens scratching. Then, use them to gently bend the hinge back into place. If the hinge still feels loose, secure it with a small rubber ring for reinforcement. Step three, if a hinge has broken off, dab a small amount of super glue to the end of a toothpick and apply the glue to both the hinge and frame. Firmly hold it in place for one minute. Wipe away any excess glue with a paper towel. The earpiece should bend normally. Step four, replace screws that have fallen out with ones from the repair kit. You can also fasten a miniature safety pin through the hole or slip a metal staple coated in all-purpose glue, bending the ends with pliers to fit around the hinge. If you use a staple, you won't be able to fold your glasses. Dab clear nail polish on top of the screw after tightening it to keep it in place. Step five, if you've snapped off an earpiece, reattach it with super glue. Step six, if you're in a real bind, build a temporary earpiece. Using pliers, Cut a section of the wire hanger to the same length of the original earpiece. Curve one end of the wire to fit your ear and glue the other end to the frame. Secure the earpiece to the frames by wrapping a strip of duct tape around them. Save old glasses. While you might not have any use for them now, their parts may come in handy for future replacements and repairs. Step seven. While you can make simple, temporary repairs yourself, Multiple fractures, warped springs or screw holes, or lenses with deep scratches require professional help. See your optician. Did you know? In Europe during the 1300s, the rich typically wore eyeglasses as a symbol of their wealth and power.